Alright, so I am back, and today we are going to take a look at the NECA Toys um, Crock Tusk Predator. Now, I'm not, I'm not very versed in NECA Toys because this is my first outing in them. Um, and I know normally I do Transformers. Um, but uh, long story short is I had this set, um, these three particular Predators, uh, when I was when I was younger, the original versions of them, and I absolutely love them. They're a huge, huge part of my, um, a huge part of my childhood. So when I saw these things out in Toys R Us, I was like, I've got to get them. Um, so anyway, um, and no, I'm not sponsored by NECA Toys, so um, this is going to be a pretty good review, I think. Um, so there's the bio in case you uh, want to take a look at that. Um, pause it if you want to. Um, but yeah, this is really all there is to the packaging. Uh, we got a nice drawing of the Predator. Now, well, not nice, I'd say decent. Um, you get to see what's coming, what, what else is in the line. You get this uh, front picture here and that's really it <clears throat> and then on the bubble pack you get a little bit of the drawing there and then you know the ultimate alien hunter predator little digital stuff there going on with smart disc and spear which the original toy did not come with a smart disc or spear um but you know whatever uh so here he is um and yeah, my initial thoughts are, this thing is pretty cool. Um, but then once I really get down into it, uh, I do have issues with him. Um, so, let's start off with the spear. Um, so here is his uh, accessory. Uh, he does come with the spear. Uh, as you can see, it's a little warped. And actually the tip was, this tip was identical to this tip here. And that was, was really warped and I just tried to bend it back a little bit and it just snapped right off. So plastic quality on the spear isn't top-notch and then uh, he can hold it um, he's just uh, kind of wedge it into the hand it, his hand isn't really molded for this uh, I'd say so it just kind of slightly fits into it um, like that and then you can just put his hand back on well, it looks okay. Um, so taking that out. And then he also comes with the smart disc. Um, take a look at that here. Not too too thrilling there. And what you can do is you can take it and you can kind of put it over his fingers. Um, sort of. Kind of. Yeah. It does. It, it, this doesn't work as well as they think it does <laughs> and since the uh, spear snapped off so easily I'm kind of concerned on wedging this into his fingers because um, I'm afraid that those fingers might break uh, so that's it for the accessories um, so yeah that was that was very disappointing that the spear broke right out of the packaging um, and the disc doesn't really fit that all that well but this figure is what I'm going for um, this is why I bought the thing um, so Let's uh, take a look at him. He's got the nice silver detailed sculpt going on uh, here and there, and uh, he does have another disc right there. Uh, I was trying to, it would have been nice if they would have put a little slot here that you can just kind of slide the disc up in there and just kind of store it. But oh well. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, got this nice ink wash, black ink wash going on it. Um, the figure itself is, um, has got this nice, um, mesh design going. Uh, it would have been kind of nice if they would have painted that. Um, I'm not very versed in NECA, like I said, so I don't know if it's typical for them to, to not do stuff like that, but, you know, I, I, I kind of went into this thinking there was a high, high-end collectible and was expecting really awesome detail and, yeah. Um, the sculpt is amazing. I absolutely love the sculpt. 
Um, so let's do a quick 360 of him. Uh, so there you go. And just gonna spin him for you. Uh, and yeah, there you go. Um, and this one does stand pretty well. The other one I got doesn't stand as well as I would have hoped. Um, Poseability wise, his head does rotate. Uh, it's actually on a ball joint, so it does get a little up, a little bit down, side to side. Um, all his dreadlocks here are um, soft, soft plastic, um, so they they move pretty freely. Um, and there's there's some good paint detail on some of these, but some of them, like this this dreadlock here, you can see right there that and that should be painted silver like these ones are. Um, but there you go. Um, the, his little shoulder cannon does rotate. Um, it doesn't feel like it's on there very well, so it looks like it's supposed to slide um, through the slider joint, but I can't quite get mine to slide. Um, so I don't know. Anybody else out there have this figure? Let me know if that is true to all of them. Um, let's see. Soft plastic for these uh, shoulder parts here. Um, this is seems to be more of a harder plastic. Um, so um, shoulders do rotate up and down. They're on uh, universal joints, so that up and down, in out. Good range of motion there. Does uh, rotate at the elbow, um, and then elbow does bend a little bit. Not not very much, but it does bend enough, I think. Um, same thing on this side, uh, because it doesn't because this uh, armor here is a little less than this armor here. Um, it does go up a little bit more. Uh, again, does bend at the elbow. Rotates. Hands um, are on ball joints. So good range of motion there. This one, this one's really loose, so it doesn't stick on there very well, and that's that's really unfortunate. But the, again, the paint detail on it is pretty top notch. Um, waist is on a ball joint of some sort, um, so it does go side to side, up down. We've got a little bit of ab crunch going. Um, the whole skirting here is that soft, soft plastic. Um, that's soft plastic. Uh, knee pads are soft plastic. Uh, hips are on universal joints, so they go up about that far, and back about that far, and then they go out quite a ways. Double bend elbow, or double bend knee. Um, and then there's a little bit of swivel here up at the thigh. And then the foot is also on a ball joint. Um, and you can see on mine, there's like some paint slop there, um, some paint slop going on there. A um, little bit right here, a little bit right there. Uh, but yeah, uh, all in all, it's a good figure. Uh, I do like it. Uh, I'm very happy I, I purchased it. It was, you know, 20 something dollars. So it wasn't a horrible, unreasonable price. Um, a little disappointed in the quality of this, that hand, and, you know, getting this in there. Um, but, uh, you know, and also, you know, like the, um, this doesn't open to rebuild the bomb. Uh, I kind of wish that it did. Uh, it wouldn't have been that hard for them to put a little hinge there. Um, but I'm not going to fault them on that. What I will fault them on is the mask. Um, because it doesn't come off. It's it's one piece with the head. Um, yeah, it, it just will not come off. Um, and that's really unfortunate because the original crack test figure, what made him unique among the Predators, and also gave him his name is that when he took off the mask he had these two big tusks and one of them was broken off and and that's where he got the name crack tusk um so without that it, it's very disappointing um 
I, I, I'm like thoroughly disappointed with that. Um, the rest of it, I, I can live with almost everything else, but the mask really needed to come off on this particular figure. Um, I also want to point out uh, on the foot here, uh, it does say Neck Toys 2011. So this is a <laughs> four-year-old mold, or maybe they recycled some parts of it. Um, they could have, if they were going to recycle parts, they could have at least redone the stamp, I would think, or... Um, I don't know. I, I, I haven't, like I said, I haven't really collected any of these guys because, you know, I, I haven't been the biggest fan um, uh, of the NECA Predators just because I, I don't collect them. I collect Transformers. Uh, but like I said, I mean, this thing has huge history for me in my childhood, so it was a must-have once I saw it. Um, and then, you know, size comparison... You know, here he is with the Seeker mold, um, so you got Transformer fans can gauge how big he is. Um, and then here he is with the, uh, what do they call him? Scavenger. Okay, so that's the actual name. Here he is with the Scavenger Predator. Which, uh, growing up, having those three, this was, was my favorite, so we'll get into that guy uh, later today. Um... But yeah, uh, all in all, it's a great figure. Uh, I do recommend it uh, for those people that uh, either one, you're, you're completist and you got to have all the NECA Predators or all the NECA toy figures. Uh, or if you had this guy as a kid, you won't be really let down with the exception of that mask. That That is disappointing. Um, so yeah, for a rating, I'm going to give him a... Um, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I think, uh, you know... Like I said, the hand I can live with, the the spear, the disc I can live with, the mask is is so de detrimental to the character that not having it remove um, it is very disappointing to me. Um, but other than that, I think it's a great figure, and I do recommend picking him up.